A very large severe weather outbreak is getting ready to kick off across the country and there is a lot of potential problems with it. We got ourselves a huge trough, a big dip in the jet stream that will be driving its way across the country, amplifying those winds to allow for the potential of a big severe weather event. And at the same time, while these winds will be amplifying, we will be seeing ourselves a lot of northerly movement of a bunch of moisture and a lot of instability building into the country. Now, unfortunately, this event does seem to be like it has a good shot at a potential outbreak. We're talking tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds. This could be a big one, guys. Now, this event will start to take place here on March 31st as the Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk, a pretty big risk regarding severe weather across the portions of the Midwest into the Ohio Valley. Now, whenever it comes to the beginning of this event here for the 31st, the models do show a little bit of instability, nothing too excessive, but should be enough to get things going. Now, when grabbing a sounding across portions of southern Indiana, it does show that there could be a little bit of change in wind directions and wind speeds as we go up in the altitudes here which could allow for maybe a bit of spin and a, maybe a little bit of tornadic activity. But unfortunately, this is not the big day. This is the appetizer before the main entree. Now, as we work our way over here into April 1st, that's where the big stuff starts to kick off. Now, for April 1st, the Storm Prediction Center has not only issued a very large risk area, but they've also issued a 30% chance zone which just so happens to be the biggest probability this far out. Now, whenever it does come here to April 1st, not only, like I was saying, we have a really big risk area. So if you're across the yellow, you really need to watch out there for the possibility of severe weather. But like I was saying, we have an orange area, which is a 30% chance probability, which is, once again, the maximum risk that they can issue this far out. So really, if you live across eastern Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, a lot of Missouri and northwest Arkansas, you guys really need to be watching this as you know numerous uh, amounts of severe weather could be very likely. Now, the most concerning thing about April 1st is all of that instability we were talking about there. So all that warm air that's rising up from the Gulf here really creates a very unstable atmosphere. So our mid-levels of the atmosphere is very cold, our lower atmosphere is very warm, and that creates a big, uh, basically a big gradient, which is a bunch of instability, or basically thunderstorm fuel. Now, we have a lot of instability here for portions of Texas into Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Arkansas, and Missouri here as we work our way into the first. Now, the unfortunate thing is, is that at the same time, we're going to have a bunch of really strong lower level winds, which could allow for the potential of some tornadic activity and some really good organization of supercell structures. Now, our mid-level winds here overall are also cranking. We have some really, really fast mid-level winds, about 75 knots, which, you know, overall the winds and the instability overlapping each other is a big problem regarding severe weather. And honestly, for a typical forecaster, this is very concerning. Now, when taking a look at the sounding here for April 1st, we are seeing ourselves some increased lower level winds, which could allow for even more tornadic activity as our photographs do show a big curving motion, which is showing that the winds are changing directions and in speed as we go up in altitude, which could be a bit of a problem regarding tornadoes. But it ain't over yet, folks, because as we work our way over here into April 2nd, which just so happens to be my birthday, we have ourselves another day worth of widespread severe weather all the way down from the deep south going through the Ohio Valley and into the Mid-Atlantic. Now, whenever it comes to the models here for April 2nd here, as we work our way further down in time, there's not going to be as much instability regarding, you know, the previous day for April 1st, but there is going to be a lot more widespread amounts of overall fuel for thunderstorms. Now, there is going to be a really good shot that we could have severe weather across the Ohio Valley diving into the deep southeast of the United States here. The winds, they're not going to be as strong as April 1st, so I think a lot of that big tornado threat is going to be mostly for April 1st. I think the biggest tornado threat will be for April 1st. However, we we will still be seeing the possibility for some tornadic activity here for April 2nd as well as that trough that we were talking about as that low pressure system drives its way across the Ohio Valley, increasing those winds and overlapping with that instability, which allows for those storms to become very severe. So once again, damaging winds, tornadoes and large hail all seem to be a bit of a problem in which you guys need to seriously be watching out for this event because this could be a really bad event overall. Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up here, folks. If you guys could please share this to as many people possible to help spread awareness of this severe weather event. If you guys did enjoy it, consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll catch you guys later on here for today as we will be doing a live stream probably right around 6, 7 o'clock Eastern time, so be tuned for that. But all right, my friends, you guys take care. Y'all be safe out there, and we'll see you guys in the next one.